Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. Today I want to talk about a concept in spirituality or spiritual seeking that I would refer to as chasing homunculus prime or which room is my house in. But the which room is my house in, we'll get to that closer to the end. And the camera is going to shake because I have a very curious cat, so please forgive that. And while he's doing that, if you could go ahead and hit the like button for me, I can't quite reach it from here. <laughs> Very adorable kitten. I wish you guys could see this. So what is a homunculus? Because I said chasing homunculus prime, right? Well, homunculus is a little tiny, fully formed human. And it was Plato that referred to uh, a homunculus as what is the pilot of us. So there's a, a little tiny, fully formed person or multiple people in there that are deciding what we do, sending us these signals to say, this is how you feel. This is uh, the decision that you're going to make. So it all has to do with consciousness and free will. And then you have to ask the question, well, if there's a little homunculus in my head, controlling what I do, controlling what I think, deciding things for me, who's controlling the homunculus? And then who's controlling the one that's controlling the homunculus? And so you can see this just keeps going on and on. We do this a lot in our uh, spiritual work. We say, oh, where do my feelings come from? How do I feel about my feelings? How do I feel about how I feel about my anger? If we get into these rabbit holes, right? Like who decides my preferences? Um, I didn't wake up one day and decide that cats are cooler than dogs. It just sort of happened. I just think cats are cooler than dogs. I don't care if you don't like that. <laughs> and then we have, well, where do our thoughts come from? And who is the, who is the one who originates the thoughts? Like I couldn't sit here and think about what I'm going to think about next without thinking about who is it that is giving me the thought of what I'm going to think about next. I mean, it, again, it's just, it's this rabbit hole that you can go down. And so we do ego. Well, my, who, I, say, I might say that I've conquered my ego. Well, who is it that's saying that I've conquered my ego? Who is it that has conquered the ego? Who is it that is now feeling some level of pride or happiness or joy for having conquered the ego without the ego being involved in that conquering of the ego? See, it just gets really weird. So what we're doing is we're chasing homunculus prime. We keep going further and further, further back, but we never actually reach the one that we would call the prime, the original, the main homunculus, because we can always say, well, shouldn't there be a little guy controlling him or where do his thoughts come from? And speaking of control, <laughs> we don't actually control anything either. Like I said, with preferences, with thoughts, with feelings, we don't really have a control over them. We don't have a control over anything that we do in our lives. And so, in fact, some could, and I like to argue that we have no free will. We like to live as if we do have free will, but we don't really have the free will because we are programmed by our upbringing, programmed by our biology, programmed by something. And so we can go and we can look further and further back and we can say, well, I can see myself doing all of those things, so I must be the observer. But now that I can see myself observing, that makes me the observer of the observer. And so now we get into this other thing. Who is the observer observing the observer, observing that observer pointing at the thing? Like all of these rabbit holes and just uh, recursive thoughts that we get into. And uh, I believe it was uh, Ken Wilber that said, if you can point at it, it's not the real you. And so that's what happens is we keep pointing at the thing that we thought was us and realizing that it goes back one more level and then one more level and then one more level. And we keep being able to point at it. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> and it's never us. And so what, is, what does this matter? What do, what do we do about this? Well, this is where I get into the idea of the house and the rooms. Your house is not in a room. You can go and you can look in all the rooms in your house and you're not going to find your house. It's like someone saying, I'm looking for my house. And you say, but you're in your house. You're, 
you're standing in here right now. This, this is your house. And I said, but, but I'm looking for it. And I'm like, well, you, it's right here. You already found it. You're, you're in your house. This is it. <laughs> but where in my house? Where in my house is my house? And it's like, well, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. You're in your house. The whole thing is your house. And say, okay, but, but what, what room in my house is my house? So if I wanted to live in my house, which room would I have to go in? And it's like, well, that's not really how houses work. There are rooms in houses, and those rooms are all aspects of the house. No room is the house. All of the rooms together make up the house. And since they're all aspects of the house, you can think of them like aspects of yourself, like masks that you use, like ideas and concepts of the ego and the observer and the feelings and the thoughts. Those are not, those are not things that you need to find out who originated them or um, which house in the room they are. I know that doesn't make sense, but <laughs> there isn't another way to say it. They are all aspects of you. They are all, just like the rooms are all aspects of the house. You are, you are homunculus prime. You are that fully formed human. All of these pieces, all of these things, they are you. When you go trying to find where they start, who they are, who the real you is, it's like a finger trying to point at itself and you can't do it because you are you, you are the house. There isn't a place in the house that you need to go to find the house. You're there. There are different aspects of the house that you can look at, but none of those aspects of the house are the house. You are homunculus prime. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to hit like and share the video. Have a great day.